One of our wishes was to actually get some of this uh, poetry on tape and uh, have it done by a, a professional. For uh, Pierre Spray, his, uh, his purpose of recording us was to try to give um, an equal balance of uh, the poetry and music combination. It was uh, a, a challenge of a, a different type of nature. Uh, working with uh, human voice in a spoken uh, medium and uh, working with the uh, electronic instruments as well as the uh, natural acoustic uh, instruments. Uh, for Ray Schmidt, uh, I think it was another challenge and that was um, combining the action of the music and poetry, trying to capture that on film. The, uh, trying to capture what had moved him to come to the point of deciding to go ahead and make a film uh, about Poet Song. Tears from the Warring Flame. I am black. I am Jewish, Italian, Latino, I am French, I am Greek, Indian, Russian, I come from the Far East. I am water, I am fire, I am grace from her land. I am near, don't travel by car, any plane, trains don't run that far. They flow through my veins like ink. Like the alchemist, like the painter, I grind these fine powders, mix and measure. Know then, as the sculptor takes from this land and so divines my shape, my form, my expression. I am the years without time. As war and pain stain a loving heart, I am the river that chasms, and there we part. I am the past in present tense. See the future in memory as the river feeds the willow's branch that clings there ever free as the feathers rest on limbs when pressed by her wind shall reveal to thee. In voice of song or incantation as the moon bears full her soul, the sun shall drape and fold about my frame and her waters in still reflection call my name. And children born through mine alone in every time and plane will find again in certain space this fiber I have sown. And when I close my eyes at dawn and fold my arms within, a greater light of wind and song shall begin again in silent second sight. They shall lay me there in a gaslit chamber, all these voices in crescendo rise. And yet before once more I draw in upon mine eyes A task of life I shall remember Tis not so necessary what I have come to know But rather that in wisdom love may grow I asked Joseph what it is in music that he searches for, that he, that he cherishes, that he treasures, what is the aspect, what is the sound in our natural environment, what is it? Joseph, words. A man so gifted in music, he loves words. Is my brother there for me? When we're working together, I let the words, I, I let the words flow through me, and I enjoy becoming involved with it. I put, I put some of myself aside. I let that become lost, and I take on the words, the poetry, and I let that live inside of me for moments at a time so that I can truly become involved in what she's doing and in what she's trying to say with her poetry. The story that comes through her has to come through the music as well. The city has many corners. The city has many tales. The city has many faces, some that live to tell. The city has many spaces. The city has many destinations, some fair as well. The city has many secrets, 
As many as there are city scrapers, as many that fell. The city has as many moments as the hero's destiny. The city has as many heroes and their stories yet to tell. I quest for the original thought. That may take me to many mountaintops as I lay on the floor with my eyes closed. The walls may drop away. I may feel the wind sweeping around me. I may be embraced by that and the warmth of the sun. And I am in my room within four walls. Images that I see in her poetry are, uh, are just so vivid that uh, no, matter, uh, no matter what the subject is, it's very easy for me to, to come up with themes and motives and, and melodies to go along with her poetry. Uh, some of the things that, uh, that I feel at the moment on the instrument, uh, one might be screaming or uh, something inside or crying and I try to let that out in the instrument, sometimes even by uh, singing into the instrument or playing multiphonics or some contemporary techniques that, that's, that fit the mood. What can I do to change time? Not a weekly planner, not a calendar guide, not a pocket organizer, not a catalog of crime. I am a would-be too organized planner, and I merge with all the zodiacal signs. And like an urban pioneer, take liberty in ideas. Not all things move in time. Recall, repeat, it is such a crime, and some time dwindles on like clay to our feet we trudge on, and carry with us what may be wrong, we pass it on, generation to the next like the runner's baton, we pass it on. Smoky, uh, rusty nail color, good grief is what it looked like, coming out over the city. That is what we hear in this music. First, we hear this breathy quality, the storm is coming, and the clouds we're going to be walking in, and the dark water we're going to tread is in the praise willow girl. You have, you have, you'll recognize it. When I hear poetry, I'm able to um, get in between the words that, that uh, she's reciting, the things that she's talking about. She sets a definite mood. She may be talking about uh, heroes of maybe perhaps uh, lost veterans, uh, missing in action. She might be talking about a, a child that is, uh, is being beaten. She lie beneath the willow tree, the branches blow. Her tears fall free. Beaten before she could walk, near crippled before she could talk, nightmares before she could roll over, intensive care before her first month's up. Please, she begged the willow tree before she could run. Please don't make me go back to a body beaten and come in undone. The nurses called her back to life, and she kept her secret of the willow tree. The life support system sounds their alarms. The nurses run in and run out. The child has had a rough night, could not stay in the body to fight. She slept beneath the willow tree. She cried, let me stay. The willow tree wept to send her away and face another beating in her life. Help, she called to the willow tree. Help me, please. It hurts too much to go back. Let me stay. Stay with me. 
the willow tree said, go back, you must, though what a violence and the unjust that a child would not be free. The willow tree said, cry, a cry again, you must, for what you bring back with you is this faith and trust that the willow tree will always be a place for you to come when out of body, near out of your mind and grown, you will live to see the willow tree again in time. Perhaps without the pain of a hemorrhage near your mind and perhaps the nightmares will go away and you may learn to sleep without the fear of being awakened by the violence of being shaken from your parents' touch. I think, I think you'll find that um when Jerry's reading her poetry, she takes on and uh, becomes part of, of what she's talking about. She possesses the images that she's talking about. And as I let the poetry flow through me, um, I'm able to take on some of that as, as, as well. I have been mistaken by my color. I have been mistaken by my view. I have been mistaken by my beauty and been seen on the news. I have been mistaken like a party favor or a token. I have been mistaken. Touching the audience is, is our most important goal, and getting a work across, getting the piece that she's working on across through the combination of music and poetry. Um, if we were to take this to a more commercial level, uh, a larger scale, uh, we would have to keep the same basic goals in mind. The truths that we feel within us we have a great honesty between us. We share the similar truths. And with that combination, we're able to, to come across in a, in a very sincere manner. And no matter if we're performing in a, in a small club or on a large stage, that sincerity must continue through. The heroes, some have died. 
Some have been shot. Some have just gone away. The heroes, no one knew them anyway. F. Scott welcomed them warmly as the midnight hours were plenty. Truth, honor, and whiskey. A one-legged soldier might party that day. Spirit lover, he is there for me. His brother's still missing. Spirit lover, he is there for me. There is no difference between myself and my work. The poetry is the expression of my life in an effort to bring people to some of the understanding, some of the insights, some of the divine nature that has touched my life as a result of my personal experiences. And I believe that it is within each individual that all of the miracles all of the wisdom may be revealed through the inner senses. Angel eyes, he says to me. Let me see your angel eyes. Tell me what do you see when angel eyes starts crossing into your dreams? Baby, what you been missing with me? Run through this city, coming to see you, baby. Uh huh. Running through this city, building up heat on a metro or a tunnel underground. Coming to see you, baby. Coming on down. Got a little white honey, and the moon is filling up. Running through this city, angel eyes girl is coming up. She says it is free. What she has been seeing. And she is telling it to me. Here in the traffic queues, cab in the fog, cab in the snow, cab when a hurricane threatens to blow. Cab in a hurry, cab before the show. Cab for a park ride when the moon is hot. Cab for a joy ride, baby, when you are not. Cab coming home, cab keeping jazz, cab anytime, gotta move on the road. Riding the DC line. Joseph's music is alive and flows with the physical properties of my poetry. When I first heard Joseph play, I knew that he was playing music and in his music he was developing an avenue for healing and that he is brilliant and that he is visionary and that he is ethereal gave me immediate comfort, communication, understanding, joy, love, peace, and openness. And I knew <laughs> that when he heard the poetry, he would become a part of it, and that he should, and that's exactly why we met. I am the mistress of this land of the caretaker with nothing but the finest of hand. 
be offered and then taken. I am the mistress of this land, but not a share maker. Many have worshipped the land, and from her taken what of riches and gold may demand. Her copper, her silver, and diamond ice veins, and she is gasping for breath. We may be cold, we need water to survive. Worship has gone from the land. The harvest moon is a song and a dance. Winter solstice is building fire. And when the spring bloom comes, we see the seeds we lay. And every day the sun upon the land, we turn our gaze to her face that she should seek again to lay her warm embrace to her graceful land. When I sit and write in this studio, I may face south and let the sun rest upon my face and in doing so be warmed and inspired. Turning my face north, often I, I, I search for images, and when they appear to me, many times I will come to see them in my future, and this will be like a memory. And I have found that as I compose, I may also see this come to pass. That is when I learn the power of words. And that the typewriter goes clickety, clickety, clack, clack, clack. That's music, that's percussion, that's tap. That's the keyboard. And when I actually am in composition, I'm able to hear an entire orchestration involved around the words. Although I do not know the language. Old blood. Old blood of the land and our brothers. Old that I give thee in all my twilight hours. Oh, blood, that I give thee in fresh harvest and flames. Oh, blood, that gives me fire and water. Oh, blood, that I bear the pain for others. Oh, blood, that I walk where my brothers fail in vain. Oh, blood, I go there so others may gain. Oh, blood, that my children may give the same. Oh, blood, ye ask of me that I come back again. Oh, blood, I walked with my earth brother, one of my own. Oh, blood, he showed me my name. Oh, blood, I leave this here today. As a spiritualist, as a poet, as a widow, as a mother, as a human spirit, that for each child that may not speak for itself, in a period when only tears brought about by pain, misfortune, cries out, I will speak. If there is one who may not speak for themselves, I will speak. That is the why of my taking the words that I have placed upon paper 
and developing the art of poetry in performance with music so that we may share the work with many. And in doing so, having planted seeds of positive growth, hopefully enabling a single human spirit to develop to their fullest potential. That is what I do. You know of time, old blood, you know this premonition. Call it mankind, old blood. That we have tread your waters, old blood. We have given our earth brother your lasting grace. Old blood. Old blood, we have asked. Oh, eternal feelings in the records of our past. A gentle stroke upon translation, old blood. Eternal feelings when the future has been spoken, old blood. A thousand eyes by which to see old blood as multitudes of song we bring, old blood. Of songs we bring. Old blood, we give thee harmony. Old blood, we give thee.